Hey lovebugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the video just give you good vibes and uplifts you in ways that you, you weren't expecting please go ahead and share with others they may do the same or even further and a video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 uh hey because no matter what you, you may be currently facing remember you hold the frequency of gods it's true you know a lot of times we we face things that we truly don't understand like why we have to go through this you know as soon as i let go breathe and you know try to have understanding even when stuff is like placed in confusion you know just trying to be at peace with that um and then next you know 20 more things just come up and this is just that fact of it, it's like a, a a test trial basically to be able to show you you can surpass anything you can overcome anything you know a lot of times they're like speak for your dad on self i don't know <laughs> you know i was like shoot i ain't built like that but it's just like you you become your own superhero you become your own muse you know all these different things because it's like you may be going through things right now and it could be just confused crazy and chaotic and then you get to that point where you're allowing yourself to just flow with it you know expect the unexpected allow yourself to be comfortable of being uncomfortable things will switch up with even no, no notifications um and soon you know soon things will come out to where you know you'll have that aha moment and it's like especially right now especially with the lunar eclipse what is not the lun what is the new lunar eclipse it's like the lunar eclipse, I think, that's coming. You know, whatever that is, is coming tomorrow. You know, you feeling it. You've been feeling it probably for the last two weeks and the last couple of days. It's really been hitting you left and right, left and right, left and right. You're being placed with challenges, constant challenges. Things are, you know, really, it's like a rug just being snatched up under you when you have to be able to, you know, they're telling you not to play it safe, but play bold. You know, you have to be able to allow yourself, okay, if this is out of my control, it need to be out of my thoughts. You know, this is something that's out of my control. I can't, you know, all I can do is control about how I deal with it, how I respond. God will start snatching things. He'll start testing you left and right, bringing people in your life that you already know is a trigger upon triggers. The people you got around you, they meet, you know, your frequency may be, you know, rubbing them the wrong way and vice versa, all that stuff. But it's telling, telling you to remember what was forgotten. And this is what it's going to do. It's just like everything that you've been facing, every trial that you have been, you know, having to go to court for, whatever you've been doing, is really been showing you the strength that you have to surpass everything that has been placed on you, you know, placed on your path. You know, a lot of things, it's just like, especially, it's like when I think about that, I think about a couple of people that I know from a while back and they were telling me, oh, Rosalind, I'm going through this and this and this and that. You know, I got so much proof that, you know, I was in the right and this person's in the wrong. And it, it's just like I'm getting challenged. Like, nobody ain't hearing me. Nobody ain't trying to understand, you know, what, what I got on receipts that I have. And I can truly understand that. You know, I can truly relate to it. But then it's just like, when we are trying to manipulate timelines, we're trying to, you know, do things in our speed. Because a lot of times God is like, just trust the process. And it's like, nah, dude, <laughs> trust in your process and wait. And you tell me to push that pay patience button. And I ain't got it. You know, I, I don't have patience for this. This is my life. You're talking about, you know, I'm tired of you playing with it. And we start getting mad at God. You know, we have our choice words for him. And he'd be like, come on, I'm ready to hear it. But, you know, hey, this is what I'm doing. You know, I can change things at a blink of an eye. You know, everything will be switched up to where everything is going to zero going on to you. You know, I'm defending you. I'm your lawyer. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, the right hand man, the middle man, all that stuff. And you're going through these constant different things. And then it's just like you're going through things that's really challenging you to that point where you feel like yourself is going into depression. You're going, you may be having that low vibration of defeat. You know, one day you be up on the clouds like you just, you know, just pushing out, you know, generosity and all that stuff. You know, gratitude or whatever towards everything that you've been facing. And the next day it could be that one thing and it felt like it took you a thousand paces back. And it's just like you, you on that, that roller coaster. 
<laughs> on a roller coaster you are so past ready to get off of and you be like ready to come up and it, you know it's just like you going on one one of them daggone final destination roller coasters and you finally get to the end you're like oh. it's like how was it get me out you know get me out you ready to, you can't even talk about how what what the heck that ride was you it's like man look <laughs> It got a definition of its own, and everybody got a different meaning to that. I'm just ready for them to get off, and then you ready to get off that daggone ride, but your your seatbelt ain't came up. That thing over your head ain't came up. They said, "No, you want you, you ain't you ain't ready to get off yet." I'm like, what, what you mean? You know, it'd be different stuff like that that you're going through. But it's like you're facing so much right now, and it's just like you know, God is gonna show you that underlying of clarity. You know what you needed to see what you needed to face and it's just like the different things that we are going through the different things that we're learning about ourselves about our surroundings about our fate about our path you know the pain the purpose all these different things is going to have a deeper meaning and it's going to be kind of like a rite of passage if you want to say it as that and then you're going to understand it's going to give you that aha moment. And you're probably getting a lot of aha moments right now as it is it's like when you look back something will come up and it'll be something that really, like, really got up under you. You know, it really ruffled your feathers. <laughs> you know, it really ruffled your feathers. Like, you about to fight. Even though it, it could be over this person or already done got their, you know, got their, you know, those kudos, the karma, that, what they done placed on you and junk like that because it was, uh, it, it was out of uh, envy or jealousy, whatever, you know. And it can be that one thing. And it's just like, what's, you know, when that, that, that you know, when that certain, you know, uh, memory comes back up and it's telling you to take your power back and what did you learn from that you know and it would be just like you placed your power into something that already showed you <laughs> you won the game you know because all anytime something come up and you see that people did something because of their envy for you and self-hate and stuff like that and you you know you have to keep on reminding yourself never respond to shade you know you won the day they became bothered. You won the day when they started messing with you. You you won that day when they start manipulating different things to question your own intelligence. You know, and that was telling you take your you take your you know take your power back. God sees all. He knows all. You know, He knows the different things your enemies try to pull with you before you do. <laughs> you know, and before your enemies do. But He's using that for the greater good. This is where where your goddess of God is, is hidden is coming to the full surface because you don't went full circle through a lot of different wars in your life. You know, because this is all about everything that we're facing. A lot of times, it's just like we feel like it's us against the world. No, it's us against ourselves us against that inner demon that we have we fight with it every day we're our own worst enemy we're our own worst critic you know we get hard on ourselves you know nobody can't do nothing to you you know if it wasn't meant to happen and if it you know and if it's not something that can really you know impact you it's going to probably just hurt the ego <laughs> you know really test your patience with certain things and if it's and when you see that's all about illusion and it's all about projection it's all about based on fear and stuff like that you're just going to see it for what it's worth and like yeah okay you know it's like oh you ain't got nothing to say no <laughs> what that you know what that what just moved around me and just projected to me the answer at all i'm just seeing it <laughs> you know i took a mental note and i'm keep on doing what i'm doing you ain't got no response no I'm busy. I'm focused on something that's relevant in my life. And you're going to go through different things like that where God is starting to show you now you know how to move. You know, a lot of things don't need your response to it. Your response is how you just observe certain things that's going around you. And that's with everything. And you're healing through your weaknesses from these situations. And it's just going to get to that point where you're seeing I needed that to go on into my life because it showed me you know what was important to my life and was not important what I need to take to heart and what I need to just let it go over my head just allow myself to separate being being selective about what I choose to be in, in my surrounding appreciate that truth that people showed me the first time you know and allowing myself to not you know take those things personal and these are the different things that's going on in your life to where you want to appreciate every stage that you're going to because it help you manifest a better person within yourself. You know, I look at a lot of the things that I went through, certain things that I knew back in the day. Oh, that would have really been making me want to fight you <clears throat> or I would have said something. Now I'm just like, is this support my growth? Is this really going to take me to the next level? 
No, okay, back to the drawing board. Okay, what else did I say I was going to do? <laughs> and go right back to what I was doing. And then it's like, God's like, you understand it now. You know, all the things that we're facing is helping us heal our weaknesses. You know, what was it? It's just the fact is if you were that type of person that have love in yourself and you always want to be accepted by other people, you want people to love you like you love them. You know, you be there for people that support you, but they're not giving you what, what's, what you want to be reciprocated. Then it's telling you, start taking yourself out of that equation. It'll fill a void some kind of way. <laughs> you know, it's just like, you know, they didn't understand you when your presence a presence. They'll understand it too, when it's too late, when it's within your absence. You have to go and you still wish people well. You know, and it's just like, you, you, you notice how, just how your response is, just how you say things. Everything is changing. So that's why they always say, no matter what we're facing, no matter trials that we're trying to unfold and trust within that process, these things are strengthening us in ways that we never can even, you know, even bring to comprehend, you know, in those different ways. Because you can actually look back at certain things that used to really, like, poke at you. And you notice if, if it comes around this time, you'll understand how, you know, it was just like it was being shown to you then. But you see, it's just the fact is like I made that video a while back where I was telling you never be shamed of the things that you're going through. Because, you know, a lot of times it would be up in our head. We'd be having that negative talk like, why the hell do you sucker punch that person in the, in the face when they did this and this and that? Why didn't you tell this person off? Why didn't you read them this, this and that? And it's telling you, you had to be able to experience that. So you already know next time when something come at you like that in the same kind of way. Because sometimes if we don't allow ourselves to heal from those situations, we're going to have it come up again and again. It's going to be the same de demon with a different face. You know, same motives, you know, and all these different things until you learn it. Because a lot of times we go like, why did I have to go through this again? Because you didn't learn the lesson the first time. And it's not that, you know, that's not like how God is going to get at you like... Duh, why don't you go, you know, but it's the fact is you had to really learn this from, you know, dot every I and cross every T, you know, and you had to be able to go through this. This is going to help you remember who you truly are to the core, you know, not allowing yourself to be set up in certain ways where you giving so much, you know, people are constantly, you know, doing withdrawals and they ain't making all the positives on what you're doing. What doesn't support you back as you support it? You know, a lot of times you have to be able to understand to just, you know, just be happy within that moment. You know, people and situations are for your growth, for for your upkeep, whatever, you know, moving you to the next chapter. Because a lot of times you don't realize a lot of situations getting there just to see, are you ready for that next level? Are you ready to experience more? Are you really allowing yourself to heal? Because God will throw that monkey wrench real quick because he know. He know what bothers you and he's just going to allow yourself to say, you know, are you taking this personal again? <laughs> are you going to allow that person to really take you out of your peace? You know, get your element of emotions together. You know, and this is what's showing on. You, you, um, we're all goddess and goddesses. You know, we have that human experience. So, of course, we're going to have those human emotions. There are going to be different times where you read, you know, somebody don't really rub you wrong. There will be times that people really don't took you out your peace. But this is at that time where you have to be very selective. You, time don't exist, but you ain't trying to have nothing wasted in your life that don't need to be there. You know, you needed those situations to be in there. Because a lot of times we don't realize the stuff we constantly face. We needed that. At that time, we really, truly needed that at our times because this is what strengthened us. This is like food to the soul, you know, movements to the soul, experiences to the soul because this awakens some part of you you didn't know was there. You know, you discovering yourself on all different levels through the time of change. And these are the things that really can just uplift you. And it's just like when you can look back at your past instead of looking back at your past with holding grudges, being angry, being pissed. You know, ready to you know, ready to catch a charge on certain certain things that somebody did. You needed that. And it's just like I had to be able to tell myself that you needed that. If you didn't, you wouldn't know what 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 you can stand along with. You know, you got God. Don't have to worry about who else is against you. Long as God for you, that's it. That's the only thing that's important. When it, when something is on that level with you, it's gonna strongly connect. You know, even when it's not, it's going to still strongly connect because it's the, something you needed from that, that situation, that person, that energy, that entity. You needed that. So it's taking you to that next level on learning what not to do and what to do. What withhold, 
what you need to conceal. <laughs> you know, what you need to project and what you need to conceal. That's what I meant to say. But all these different things is going to show you where your growth is. This is like, we don't realize. It's like every person is in our life is part of that chapter of growth. Part of that chapter of strength. You know, knowledge. You know, bettering yourself. Healing yourself. Whatever weakness was, your weakness is going to be your highest of your strength. You know, nobody ain't going to be able to pull that wool over your eyes. Nobody ain't going to be able to pee outside and tell you it's raining. You're going to fall for that mess down. You know, you're going to still allow yourself to be holding your character because you are a representation of yourself. You know, a lot of times, you know, people will just do things just to get a response out of you, just to get, you know, something out of you to see if they can, you know, they can take you there and just be like, man, I already seen what you were doing. Just your energy spoke against you when you done came up to me and tried me like that. Boo, be gone. <laughs> like, baby, bye. You know, and just being able to see that because these are the things that really reminded you who you were to that core, who you are to that highest level. Because these are the things that you didn't know you needed to get towards that next step. It's like you had your, your spiritual uh, game. To, you know, you were playing this whole time where it helped you remind yourself. It's like, dang, I needed that. I remember when I was down and out and this and this and that happened. You know, I remember the people I was there for. And, you know, when the shoe got on the other foot, they left me. You know, people tell me, oh, you know, I can say this, that, and a third, and they'll still be there. And then they say, you know, poof, they're gone. You know, all these different things was telling you the core of you. Directing you to the core of you. I, that's all it was doing. It's rewriting that to that situation. You are really being distracted today, ain't you? But, you know, just going through all these different things is, is telling you. You know, remember that frequency. You got that high frequency of God's. You know, and God says you really do. And it's just like a lot of times we don't know. It may sound crazy, but it's like even the worst things that take place in our life is going to reroute us to remember what was forgotten. And I always tell you that. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all, I'm going through all these ascension <laughs> phases right now. Having hot flashes, cold flashes. I'm like, look, man. You know, going through all that. But um, uh, allow me to give a post notification. Shout out to Alex St. Andrew. Much love, as always. Uh, Davia uh, uh, Kira. I hope I pronounced your name uh, right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Um... Laureen uh, Brandon, much love to you as well. You know, if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. You know, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. You know, a lot of people come to me, tell me what their situation is, what brought them to the channel, what they're dealing with, you know, and see if they can give me the insight of that. I always tell people I never make you feel weird or make you feel regret that you said anything. It ain't even all about that. It's just we're all helping each other grow, heal in some kind of way, make some kind of sense to the craziness that we go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And, you know, whatever we speak on is confidential. I try my best to be able to help out the way I can. I also leave my um, link to my podcast as well, um, to my my, my podcast I got on Spotify and if you ever feel you know blessed enough to give a donation I'll also leave you know my cash app there as well um, so I hope you're having a great blessed weekend please prepare yourself for this change this this, this gonna hit us Whew, it's gonna be hitting us because that mess is coming in crazy I think it's like the lunar eclipse or something like that but I know it's gonna hit us tomorrow so you may be feeling stuff like this around today um, that may be, you know, get taking through some changes. So if you're feeling kind of off today or kind of sensitive, you know why. <laughs> so hopefully everything is good. I'm sending uplifting vibes, healing vibes, whatever you're needing to come towards your way. Whatever manifestations you are working on, you know, I'm sending uplifting vibes towards that. You know, keep on being persistent and consistent with yourself. You know, if it, it, even when things are going around you to make you question, no, you you got some you got some very beautiful things coming your way just because the fact is all the stuff you done faced, God's got you. You know, so I'm sending that to wherever it is, it's going whatever he about to open doors to, I hope it brings you to your knees of tears of joy, you know, and be there at least than you can expect it. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words wise frequencies, you never know. All those things will really take you a long way. I'm um, taking somebody a long way. And just for you helping to participate, it will take you even further. So much love. Peace.